2022 BMW Z4 Convertible. The BMW Z4 is a two-seat roadster that can put a smile on almost anyone's face. It's small, sporty looking, handles well enough, packs strong engines and drops its top. It's great for someone looking for a sporty ride that doesn't need much room. Although if you want a sharp handling canyon carver, the Z4 might not be for you. This premium roadster leans more toward comfort, tech, and straight-line acceleration than handling. The Z4-based Toyota Supra, which comes as a coupe only, offers a more thrilling driving experience. The two-seat convertible segment might be shrinking, but it still consists of some very competitive players. The Z4 goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with popular names like the Chevrolet Corvette, Audi TT and the Porsche 718 Boxster. Those rivals are more fun to drive and offer a ride that's comparable or better than the Z4's mostly stiff ride. This Z4 is spacious and quiet, especially for a convertible. The top itself doesn't take up much room in the trunk either. Unfortunately, the Z4 isn't as fun as we hoped it'd be. The four-cylinder engine loses steam at the top end, and the chassis feels loose on all but the most pristine of roads. Driving the Z4 is a mixed bag experience. The Z4S Drive 30i we tested accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a brisk 5.3 seconds. The engine has good mid-range punch too, which is nice for making a pass on a highway. But it can feel sluggish off the line unless you're using the Z4's launch control, and it loses steam toward the top of the rev band. The brakes provide impressive stopping power, but at low speeds, the Z4 is often difficult to stop smoothly in everyday traffic. As in many modern BMWs, the steering is mostly devoid of feeling, but it's quick and direct and stable on the highway. On smooth roads the Z4 performs well, but less than perfect pavement can quickly upset it. The Z4 feels unsettled when you're driving on a bumpy road, and the stiffer sport mode seems to make the stability worse. Even with the optional adaptive M Sport suspension, ride quality and comfort depend highly on road conditions. The Z4 cruises well on the highway, even over less than perfect pavement. That said, the seats are mounted so close to the rear axle that any bounces you do feel are fairly pronounced. The seats are shaped well, but we'd prefer more lateral support. The climate control works quickly and evenly, though there's no convenient way to sync the dual zone system. The most impressive part might be the Z4's relatively quiet cabin with the top up, especially for a convertible. You won't have to shout just to have a conversation on the highway, and the lack of a roof didn't seem to cause any unnecessary vibrations or rattles. The Z4's interior is surprisingly roomy for a car this small, a boon for taller drivers looking for an occasional open-air experience. Unlike some other convertibles, you won't feel claustrophobic with the top raised. The Z4 is at or near the top of the class when it comes to headroom, shoulder room and legroom. The power operating top moves quickly, and, when stored, doesn't eat up any cargo room in the trunk. The windshield pillar and steep windshield are something to watch out for when getting inside with the top down. The driving position is fine, though the tall hood and doors do make you feel hunkered down in the car. Because the infotainment controls take up a large portion of the center console, the cup holders have been hidden away in the center console, a bit inconvenient since there's no good place to rest your arm. BMW's infotainment system is robust, but it may take you a while to learn the ins and outs of the system. Voice controls work surprisingly well. The system isn't as refined as the latest one from Mercedes-Benz, but it's better than the older system that's in most Mercedes convertibles. BMW offers both wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is still a bit of a rarity for the class. There's only one USB port, though an optional wireless charging pad can ostensibly make up for the lack of ports. The audio system is fine and provides plenty of volume with the top down, but the audio quality, even on the upgraded system, is just a bit above average. The Z4's adaptive cruise control and blind spot monitoring work well, though the lane centering system can be too aggressive with its steering corrections. One of the best things the Z4 has going for it is the power operating convertible top. Unlike many other convertibles, the top takes up no cargo space when lowered, a huge plus for those who've dealt with intrusive tops in the past. Unfortunately, cabin storage for small items can't quite match the trunk space. The door pockets are small, and the cargo net behind the seats doesn't hold items in place very well. And you'll have to decide whether you'll have an armrest or hold your drink in hand because the cup holders are tucked away in the center console. 
The Z4S Drive 30i gets an EPA estimated 28 mpg combined, a good number for a performance car. On our 115 mile evaluation loop, the Z4 matched its combined rating. Fuel efficiency of turbocharged four cylinder engines are often highly sensitive to driving style, and the Z4 is no exception. The Z4 looks and feels like a quality vehicle, with a relatively clean design and a premium feel to all the controls. It feels less spartan or bare than some rivals. And despite the lack of a fixed roof, we didn't notice any rattles or squeaks during our tests. Pricing and features are good for the class, with other German rivals offering fewer features at much higher MSRPs. The warranty is above average for the class and should help alleviate some of the concerns about maintenance costs when it comes to German luxury cars. Despite the sharp looks and strong performance figures, the Z4 isn't as much fun to drive as you might hope. The dead steering and twitchy rear end don't inspire the sort of confidence you want from a sports car. If canyon carving is your thing, we suggest looking at something like a Porsche Boxster. We enjoyed the Z4 the most when driving at a relaxed cruising speed. The sizable cargo area and quiet cabin help it feel right at home on the highway or a winding coastal drive.